Oh my god, you guys. Who do we have here? So we have here with me, Brittany. Brittany, please introduce yourself. Hello, everyone. I'm Barbie Doll Brittany. Nice. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, of this. course. Thank you so I'm much. For, thank, thank you so much for coming. Such a fan of the show, by the way. You guys are hilarious. <laughs> oh my god, stop. I'm so happy that you made the time to come out here. But little dilemma. So we had Danny's mic, and Danny's <laughs> mic literally crashed and broke. So we are sharing a mic. So that's why me and Danny are. That's why Danny and I are a little hunched together because we're just we, gonna be like best. We'll be sharing right voices like. today. <laughs> but before we get started, Brittany. So I found Brittany on Hooked on the Look because yeah. a new episode just came out. At this point, I just need to literally start like giving shout outs to like Hooked on the Look because they are literally like making my whole entire podcast career i got trisha and now i got britney like i'm just getting everyone on there this is so. like the after show exactly this is no, like, she yeah. showed me like your segment and literally i was like she's so cute like we oh have to God. get her Thank i was you. like yeah, but like before we saw you on hooked in the look you had um i think it was my trans life it was on a bar, cro- oh, what bar was? cross yeah, yeah it was like you were really young and little mm-hmm. you had like really baby pun- trans yeah, yeah. She was, like, a baby <laughs> trans it was so cute so like i feel like i saw that's where i saw you from and i was like yeah. wait a minute she's so cute and that's Aww. where you knew her from yeah, too like, well, I've seen your video before and I was like I think I have like seen her before but I'm not sure if it's her you know what I mean it was uh-huh. one of those things and I feel like we're all connected in like this weird little circle of like you know what I mean yeah well and it's California it's, exactly like, small, like we all you know? live in the same area yeah. kind of thing and so it was so funny I was like is that the girl from the other video and she was like I think so and then we were like <laughs> looking and we we're like it is but like I couldn't good. tell because I was kind of, like you obviously changed so much you yeah. know like you look beautiful now Thank so I was kind of just like I was like I don't know if any is it and later we're kind of just like looking back and we're putting two <laughs> together and I was like oh my god it is yeah. yes. so without further ado you guys we have Brittany and I cannot wait to get started on the Raw Dogger podcast hey, yeah. so without further ado let's get started Okay, so from the very beginning, when did you know that you were trans? Uh, since I came out of the womb with glitter on me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for sure, for sure. But, um, I don't know, I feel like I always knew, honestly. Um, it wasn't until, like, I put, like, a word to it, and I knew, like, it was possible to transition, and then I was like, well, fuck, like, that's what I want to do, so, and that's what I did. <laughs> that's literally, I feel like that's, like... Like, for me, like, I was like, oh, I'm, like, I feel this way. I'm going to, like, watch some videos on it. You know what I mean? Like, some documentaries and stuff. And then, I like, I related to everything and stuff. Like, the first sign was, like, I was, like, oh, my God, I'm always playing with, like, girl toys and, like, Barbie dolls and stuff. You know what I mean? 100%. I feel like we all started off as, like, little gay boys. (laughs) Like, like it's so awful. I was not gay. Okay. I was confused. (laughs) Like, it's so awful to say, but I feel like before we were trans we were like gay boys and definitely, then we were yeah. scene boys emo boys and then we transitioned <laughs> did you ever scene go through scenes. an emo phase no definitely i yeah. wear like colored extensions yes. yeah yes. i love that that's awesome i feel like we all went through a colored phase like i tried to get into that scene look but like i was just too asian for my own like aesthetic like I'm still in my like <laughs> scene phase let's be real here yeah like it didn't work out for me it was kind of just like <laughs> like i i was so scared to like put a flat iron to my hair so i just always like i had this scene hair but like, it was like, my natural texture but it wasn't like as seen as danny because danny had a scene phase and like she like had a fucking scene that's phase you so have the haircut right. and everything that's how we became friends why don't you tell the story how we became friends so Absolutely. i saw her uh-huh. at the mall and so, so i was working at forever 21 Mm -hmm. and so my ex-boyfriend he like loves like emo bitches you know and so when we saw her at the cashier i was like oh my god babe look like (laughs) i was like you know she's trans right this is my first time meeting danny Mm -hmm. and like i had like a deep side part i was like i was definitely transitioned already i was just like in my like emo like dark makeup like the deepest side part you can have teased hair in your feelings yeah Yeah. (laughs) literally in her feelings and so danny danny didn't look as good as she does now you know this is like early in her transition and uh-huh. so i was kind of just like i could tell right away you know it, it, it takes one to know one exactly yeah. you just like know what to look for and so i was kind of like babe look like she's trans and she's emo just like how you like them you know <laughs> and so he was like she's trans and i was like yeah come here because danny had her hair like was your hair black or was it red it was black i didn't go red until no so basically this is before i went red but i basically met you eight months before we actually became friends 
So you came in with Taylor, and Taylor was like, oh, that bitch is hot. And then you were like, that bitch is a tranny. And then, basically, um, you guys came up, and she goes, so, like, where are the fitting rooms? The fitting rooms are literally right next to us. And I'm like, you're just trying to hear me talk, you stupid bitch. <laughs> because I was like, I was, I was like, babe, if there's one thing you can tell by a trans girl, it's her voice. I was like, yeah. just listen. So I was like, um, where are the fitting rooms? And she's over here like, it's over there. Over there. <laughs> like, kind of the highest voice I could do, and I can't do a high voice. Like, I just can't. Like, I just talk the way I fucking want to talk. Mm-hmm. But literally, like, I was like, I know what she's trying to do. And then, like, I talked to you that day for, like, literally, like, 10 or 15 minutes. Mm-hmm. And then we never talked again. And then I saw her again, like, seven or eight months later. And that's when you were like, do you want to get dinner tonight? I saw you, like, a while ago. And then that's when we became friends. And that's the blossom of our friendship. Aww. But she was just kind of, like, this scene girl. But, but yeah, yeah, so we all had a little scene phase. Mm-hmm. So. She was still in it, but, like, she took her scene phase from, like, being a boy to, like, a girl still. So it's kind of, like, cute. And I was kind of, like you're a female now you need to be like you know the girl you know right. but danny still has the scene a little bit in her which i like because she coordinated it to her style yeah so i, I love that a lot yeah but sure. how was it transitioning for you um it was really easy honestly and i'm not gonna lie like i've been like a subscriber for a long time of alina's oh my god i feel so loved and when like you transition like it was around the same time for me i remember watching like all your videos and everything and i was just like what the fuck this bitch is doing that like i want to do that too so literally like you were such a huge inspiration for me oh my god thank you you're so sweet of course i love how that like comes full circle as well you know what i mean mean? yeah honestly like she was like watching you and now we're like here right now and it's funny because like i was watching you too like i was watching your little yeah we're all just watching (laughs) because i feel like in a way kind of like it's like not many like around the time when we were doing it all of us because i feel yeah. like we transitioned around the same time and i feel like during that time like not many people were doing it so it's kind of just like still foreign for us so it's kind of like yeah. i see it but i don't see much of it happening like we knew gay people existed but this like this was like pre caitlin era oh know? of course 100 yeah. percent. so like this is kind of just like we saw gay people we knew like the lgbt existed but we never really saw the t part of it you know we kind of yeah. just like we're just kind of like and like when you see a little bit of it it's kind of just like this is interesting like there are people out there who are just like us and so i feel like that paves a way for like the younger people. generation exactly because for sure. i don't know about you guys but like when i realized like that was me i freaked the fuck out i was like oh my god i cannot be like in this group like i was literally like in- <laughs> no i was literally like internally homophobic at first like i mean like oh i was god, i was yeah. very much like i was kind of like confused i was like okay i know i like boys i don't know like what's happening but i was like i can't be that word though i can't be <laughs> transgender that's disgusting obviously i don't think that way now but it was i mean i like, hope not are you kidding oh my god self-hatred are you kidding <laughs> <laughs> i'm like i hate myself but for other reasons babe <laughs> no i'm just kidding no but um ultimately they're like like um your family like were they super supportive or like how did that happen yeah so my mom like she had me when she was really young she was 16 when she had me so we grew up like sisters honestly so and she had always she had a breast augmentation she had big titties and I wanted to be hot like that. Like, I saw how she was treated. Yeah. I saw how men, like, gave her so much attention. And I was like, Ugh. You're like, I want that for myself. And My yeah, I'm going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. And I, I love that you have, like, a supportive mom, too. Because, yeah. like, a lot of, like, trans people, they don't get that many support from their family. Because it's, like, it's one thing if your, like, child wants to be, like, gay you know but it's another when your child wants to literally change the entire gender it's like well it's also like another thing if like someone else does it and they're you're you're chill with it but when it's like your own kid then it's like oh fuck 100 percent. i mean i have family members who were like i support you 100 percent, but i know for a fact like if they're like my cousins came out like they wouldn't handle it the same way you know what i mean it's just like it's facts like that's Mm -hmm. the way it is i definitely get you on that one yeah 100 percent. argue with danny because like i mean there's one times where i've dated guys in the past and i'll be like oh my god like would you be okay if like our kid transition you know like mm-hmm. hypothetically speaking and they'd be like "Ooh, i don't know about that but it's like but you're dating <laughs> a whole fuck? ass trans girl and, like <laughs> if your kid wanted to transition you wouldn't be down for that and it's like they're like i mean i would like not my son uh, yeah exactly, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. so i'm kind of just like how like it's just like it's so interesting about like how like the trans like people are looked like like people look at trans as kind of just like there's double standards for 100%, sure. 100 yeah, percent i agree no, you know like definitely there's still like a lot of work that like needs to be done so and so yeah. like, i just i just can't wait until like we're all in a place i feel like that's like 30 years from now when everyone just like when being trans is kind of just like i'm gonna be boring. so jealous when it's like normal to be trans and we're all like 60 years old <laughs> mm-hmm. just like watching everyone thrive because i like, think about it like back then being gay wasn't like a thing yeah and like now it's kind of like gay people are kind of just like and, whatever yeah. like everyone's chill with them and then i feel like now in our time trans is like because 
becoming a thing. So it's like now I got to wait a couple more years until trans becomes as normal as like the gays. You know? True. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. I agree with you one hundred percent. Like that's definitely gonna be a thing. So what was your first plastic? Like, let's talk about okay. surgery because okay, yeah. obviously you've had work done. Obviously. Mm-hmm. Plastic. <laughs> obviously. Which is, like my shirt says plastic. I love it. What's like your surgery like money count? Like how much is your body worth? Oh, honestly, I have no idea. Give me like an estimate, like a ballpark. Is it ballpark or ballpoint? Ballpark, babe. Ballpark. Okay, give me a ballpark. <laughs> so I'd say, and I said it in the hook on the look, mm-hmm. like around 30000 give or take, because I had sugar daddies. You know, I had sponsors paying for it. I never really saw the bill for much, so mm-hmm. I can't, like, speak much on that. But, you know, I did get liquid FFS, so that's, like, something I'm constantly putting money into. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah. Uh, was this your first boob job if I may yes, ask yes it is how were you able because you're a tiny little girl how were yeah. you able to fit that much into and like I got saline but that's oh for sure I love that I wanted to get saline like when I get my boobs done mm-hmm. I was saying that like because um, we had a friend who had saline and I loved touching them I felt like they were so squishy and like fun and like I want that for myself so that's awesome well it's a lot easier um, if it if you're going like bigger with the saline because like with the silicone, like, it's a certain, like, implant shape. And, like, mm-hmm. you have to have, like, a certain pocket for that to fit. But with the ceiling, they just put the bags in and, like, fill it up as no, much like, as you can go. Yeah. Oh. I didn't Isn't know. that I, I didn't, We should have. Pump it up, bitch. <laughs> yeah, literally. Pump it up. Did you know, like, all those, like, girls with, like, the big, like, porn star titties, those are all saline? No, I didn't know that. Because uh, okay, I actually pa- didn't. Like, I didn't know that either. I thought they were all, like, silicone, but apparently yeah. they only make silicone to, like, a certain size, and then they stop. Well, saline, and then you get more projection, out. too. Like, it's more Do outward. You? Yeah. Wait, which one's safer? Isn't saline safer, or am I... Saline. Saline's, like, water-based or yeah. something like that, right? So, okay. like, if saline pops, it's just water in your body, but I feel like if silicone... I mean, like, now they have this thing called, like, gummy bear, so, like, I uh-huh. think it's, like... When, oh, yeah, it's, like, a, um, a more firmer silicone. And, like, if it does, like, pop, it kind of, the product kind of just, like, stays, stays like there. Yeah. yeah. And so, I mean, like, I feel like saline, when it pops, you just kind of see it, like, oh, fuck, you know? <laughs> but I feel like saline, it's, like, if it rips something, you don't really know, like, the problem until, like, when it's already too deep and when you start to feel, like, the complication. Well, I have a question. Sure. Okay, so, you know when they say, like, you get a boob job and they say, like, okay, after this many years, you have to get, like, them done again? Yeah. With saline, like, do you have to do that since it's just water? Or yeah. Like, okay, so all really? boob jobs, you have to get them done again. Really? Oh, yeah. My mom had, um, she had saline, too, and she needs, like, a lift and new implants and everything. How but many years later do they say usually? Or Girl, she's had hers for, like, 16 years, so okay. you and, can really stretch like, it, um, you know. Yeah. Okay. Obviously, don't go too long if you're having complications, but, um, yeah. What do you have? You have silicone? I or have silicone. silicone. But, like... The thing, I have silicone, but, like, when I first got them done, he was telling me, he was, like, so I remember I got my boobs done, and I was kind of like, mm-hmm. I want to go 475, and he was like, listen, like, we might not, like, he told me the whole entire time, he was like, we can totally get you 475, we can totally get you there, and I'm like, okay, day of surgery, motherfucker, <laughs> literally, like, I'm literally having an IV on, the ta- on like, the bed. And he's about to like, cut me open before I like, fall asleep. And he was like, oh, by the way, I feel like 475 is going to be a little too big for you. So, like, we're gonna, we might have to put you, like, 405. And I'm like, you want to drop 75 cc's on me? Like, I'm going to have <laughs> tiny little pecs. Like, I was like, I, I, need, I can't. Yeah. Like, at 420 was me, like, pushing it, you know? But 405, and I told him, I said, if I wake up and I have 405, I will literally rain hell in this whole entire, <laughs> like, doctor's room, oh you know? God. And so, like... I told him, I want 475, do whatever you can, fit it in me. I woke Shove up. Shove it in. <laughs> exactly. I woke up, and, like, the first thing I said to the nurse was, what size are they? I was, like, in anesthesia, and I'm kind of just like, <laughs> what size are they? Because that was the last thing I can remember before I knocked the fuck out. Yeah. And she was like, don't worry, babe, we got you to 475. So yeah. I'm 475, high profile, and it's silicone. I thought of doing the gummy bear, but, like, my friend had gummy bear, and, like, it was really firm. Like, uh-huh. well, she's dead now. R.I.P. Jackie, I'm mm-hmm. so sorry. But she had, like, her gummy bear was, like, she paid, like, 11000 for it. But, like, when I felt it, it was very, like, hard and firm. And I was like, is that what I want? I mean, I like the firmer. Like, I, like, I, you know, I liked it. But, so, like, when I get mine done, I either want, like, that or I want saline. I don't, like, it's, like, opposite to opposite. I just don't know which one I want to do yet. But, I mean, I think that if I'm going to do silicone, I would do the gummy bear. But if I do saline, It's just because, like... Because I want to go really big. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, so I think I should do that. Like, saline. You're, like, a really tiny girl. So I feel like even, like, f- even my size on you 
yeah. would be a lot, you know? It's so, like, I don't know how much bigger you want to go for saline, you know? <laughs> Maybe I'm being unrealistic. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> I'll figure it out. But whatever. <laughs> but, like, this is, like, your body right here. You know? Like, if you got yeah. implants yeah. as big as her, this is what Wait, you would how have. how tall are you? I'm 5'4". But that's so cute, and you're five two. And you're five. I'm, I'm five like two. five eight. But like <laughs> you and her, you and her are like really built the same. So if you want big old titties, <laughs> which I think would look really good because well, they look good on her. No, because you, you guys both have really tiny little shoulders frames, and like yeah. big nice boobs. You know, I, I keep envisioning myself. I'm like, how would it look? And I just like can't in my mind. Uh-huh. But when you say that, I'm like looking at you, and I'm like, okay, that actually looks like no, cute. like actually look you at know? her body. This is what your body would look like because she has tiny little shoulders like you. You guys have tiny little hands. And imagine like a big old. Bo- so what size are you guys? Thousand or? Uh, no, I wish I'm gonna go to. Oh, she a was. She's like, I <laughs> are you gonna get it again? Are you gonna get? Yeah, I'm one? gonna go bigger. Okay, for sure. Um, but I have 500 right now, so that's that's not 500. Yes, it is, girl. 500 saline. There's no way that's 35 cc's more than mine. Are you sure? I'm, They're huge. Like, yeah. Go next to each other. Well, <laughs> I think it might be 550. Maybe. I, I mean, know. I can see that honestly. I mean, yeah, they're like you both have like different builds so like i get it like you know what i mean so it's i don't know i don't believe that wait what cup are you i'm high profile oh my bra size i'm 32 double d i'm 32 triple d so not really that difference i fit a double d though i had a triple d when i first got my boobs done Uh because i got size like when they were still like swollen and big yeah i love how they look like (laughs) that but my boobs like they dropped a lot and i'm like fuck like go back to being a high thing but like do you have any complications on your boob job or anything honestly i feel like sometimes you can't see the saline bag and it fucks like it fucks with me because like in certain lighting it's like i'm like uh, what the fuck is that mm-hmm. ridge right there that's what i heard too i heard like yeah. you can see like the saline like um, oh okay. you know how it's like a bag i do remember um i do remember someone saying that as well mm-hmm. so but um, I definitely want to go bigger. I'm thinking, I don't know, honestly, I'll probably do saline again just because mm-hmm. I like the projection. Um, but I want a thousand cc. I mean, I feel like if you want a thousand, they don't make silicone in a thousand, do they? Because I know in silicone, they stop at a certain size. I think the size they stop at is like 800. Really? Yeah. And then, like, oh. anything like, because I know some girls who are like, I want 1500 in my titties. <laughs> and it's like, at that point, it's literally just water being filled in. Yeah. So a thousand is like double that, right? Yeah. Oh, oh my, my god! So big, you're crazy. <laughs> when you put it like that, I'm over here like, oh my goodness! Like how star titties? How, how, yeah, titties. but like how much further <laughs> is that projection? Like how much? Like like show me with your hands. Like how much projection? Like I want them like huge, dude. Like and then after it. that, do you think that you'd want more? Like do you think it's some of those things where it's like you're just always gonna want more and more and more? Or do you think like you'd, you'd actually be like, okay, I'm chilling, like. Um, I honestly don't know. I think like a thousand's been the goal for me because I see like other okay. other girls that have a thousand. It looks really good. Um, so that was always like in the back of your mind. Yeah, like, I definitely. want a thousand. But the, yeah, okay. But that when makes I first sense got then. my boobs done, I remember she was marking me up the surgeon, and I was like, "If you could at least do four hundred cc, I'll be okay." And she, I woke up and I got like. 500 and i was like oh my god you were like thriving yeah no it's so funny have you guys seen those videos of like those girls playing piano with the really big tits (laughs) (laughs) the really big tits have you guys seen that she's like kind of like this right they're both like like their tits are like out to here like it's those like more mouths more mouths rebecca moore it's rebecca moore not rebecca moore i don't think she's the girl that goes sundays the days of rest but not for me she's like getting (laughs) getting cock destroyers yes it's the cock destroyer girls yes yes so i mean this is cute kind of like you know how they always make you like start off small first and then you're like oh i gotta get a second one for my me to go bigger this is your starting off small yeah this is my beginner set you know and what about ass? Have you gotten pumped? I've had hyaluronic acid. So, so like, the same shit in our lips. Oh, how much was that? Because that's got to be expensive. Yeah, that was, it's, like... It's FDA approved, right? It, no. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> it's, like, an off-label use. Okay. So, but, I mean, it was, like, getting pumped. Like, I was in a hotel room. It wasn't by a doctor or anything. So, no, that's what I got, too. But mine was literally in my bedroom right there. Wait, cut for a second. I love to be at home doing that. <laughs> <laughs> like, me, me saying cut but cut <laughs> i got pumped like in my bedroom it was like the most painful thing i've ever ever went through and like so the whole thing of how she does is kind of just like she 
you lay on your stomach, mm-hmm. right? And then, like, she, like, injects you, like, you're not numb or anything. So she's just literally going in. But they give you painkillers. Oh, no, 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 no. She just literally, like, no. gets, she gets getting to work, baby. <laughs> so I'm literally laying on my stomach. She's, like, she puts in, she pokes the needles huge. Uh-huh. And, like, she pokes it really deep under the, my muscle. And, like, poor Danny, like, witnessing this, like, so many times. I'm, like, too. holding her <laughs> hand. And she's, like, squeezing it for dear life. I'm, like, we need to find you a boyfriend so you can literally just have him do it. And, like, I had a guy hold my hand. I had my little ex-boyfriend, like, hold my hand the last time. And, like, he was just getting so turned on. Because, like, I was kind of just, like, making, like... I was, like, moaning. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, Like, I was in pain. And he, like, loved it. Oh! But it was, like, <laughs> the most painful thing ever. And, like, I've wanted to get more done because I don't feel my body's finished. But, like, so basically because, like, she's putting all that product in your butt, yeah. your skin's stretching a lot. Mm-hmm. And so she usually makes you, she does it once, she makes you wait three months and does it again. I got three sessions in one month. And so my skin stretched so much. And, like, I have literal so much stretch marks on, like, my hips. What? Like, you can see it right here. Oh, my gosh. Do you see it? Oh, Where? Well, Yeah. If you point it out. <laughs> so earlier I was telling you how her and I went to Solvang. Yeah. The car ride the car ride there, she got um pumped the day before we left. And so the car ride there I drove with uh, Athena and I in the front and then she was lying down like on her back in the back seat. <laughs> you for, like, couldn't three sit hours. on your ass? You can't sit on your ass. She's lying down flat in the back, just like this. <laughs> And I'm, like, in the mountains <laughs> driving, making sure we don't fall off the cliff. Oh, oh my, my God. God. And then, like, the product is, like, slipping out of my body. Can you, like, feel it moving in your body? It's so interesting because in that very moment when you're getting pumped, it hurts. But, like, the second that she's done, it doesn't hurt at all. It just feels like there's stuff there. Like, you know how you yeah. get your lips done? Um, it just feels, like, tight because your skin's stretched and it's, like, your lips are, like, tight because there's products filling it up. Yeah. Same thing here. It just feels, like, as if, like there's like product and so like when you move it's like you can feel it in the way Mm -hmm. but like literally the pain is gone the next day like you're able to like do things but like she just recommends that you lay down because if you get up and walk the product can just drip inside your body and like because like it's a free moving silicone liquid there's nothing to like hold it up it's not an implant yeah and so like she's kind of just like recommending like you lay in place for like two weeks until your body forms like scar tissue around it to keep it in place once your body recognizes it's like a foreign object your body's gonna like shield it out from like shifting away and so i was kind of just like you know what fuck that like danny and i have vacation like we booked (laughs) we booked a trip to go to solving so i was kind of like we did have that vacation first and then like you getting pumped was like a last minute thing and so i was like Elena, like, you really shouldn't be walking around the city. Like, you just got your ass done. And she's like, no, it's fine. We can walk. We literally just, like, walked to Subway and then went back to the room and, like, lied down the whole time. <laughs> but Exactly. So I got pumped and, like, that was that. And I, it's just, like, it's so painful. And, like, it's, like, one hour and 30 minutes. But did you regret it? Like, no, of course yeah, not. Because exactly. I went from, like, shoving, like, foam pads into my pants and, yeah. like, butt pads to, like, now, like, being able to just wear whatever the fuck I want. Like, my body's not even done yet, but it's enough to, like, where I don't have, like, a male physique, you right. know? And I'm so happy about that, too, because, like, when I first met you, like, in telly, like, you got pumped. Like, you were, you were confident, but you were just like, oh, I wish I could wear this, but I can't. Mm-hmm. I wish I could wear this, but I can't. And so seeing you wear whatever the fuck you want now makes me, like, so happy oh for God, you. thank you. And, like, watching your, like, confidence and stuff, it's just, like, cute. It's and amazing. so, like, I remember just always watching Danny, like, look, because Danny doesn't like, have something gone pumped. She has, like, a really, like, supermodel male body. I mean, not male. Super, <laughs> super model male body. Super <laughs> model body. And so, like, Danny's body, like, she would just literally throw anything on. Her waist is tiny. She had, like, these cute little, like, mini little cis girl hips. She looked good. And so I was kind of just like, I'm going to look at this bitch wearing whatever the fuck she wants with her tiny little shoulders. <laughs> Like, oh, and so I was like, and I'm over here shoving foam into my fucking hips. And like, <laughs> at first, I didn't want to get pumped, but I was kind of just like, Elena, like, you literally cannot be like, so many trans girls do it too. I like, know. honestly. And it's kind of like, like, I didn't want to be like that girl that's still shoving foam into her pants. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so, like, I was like, fine, I finally did it. The first one wasn't as painful, but the second, the third time were painful. Like, I feel like, like more painful. Because mm-hmm, I got a lot of it in my hips. Because that's, that's like the main thing that I wanted yeah. was curves. And so, like, there's no muscle in your hips. So, I, like, that was just kind of like penetrating through skin. But the butt, like, that's all muscle. So, like, when she poked my butt, I was just in so much pain. Because I was kind of like, fuck. Like, keep in mind. This is what it feels like. Imagine if you're, like, flexing. And uh-huh. then someone just went, boop, into your flexing muscle. Because oh, the fuck. second that she poked my butt my instincts are yeah my my butt tenses up and like it flexes and like she's gonna go as deep as she can because she's to get through the muscle yeah 
Well, I also think that, like, you were saying, like, oh, the second and the third time, like, were more painful. I think it's because, like, the pressure that you already have the product in there, mm-hmm. so it's getting tighter and tighter and tighter. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So each time it probably is a little bit more painful than the, like, last. So you have hyaluronic acid. Yeah. So what did you, like, tell us about that? Because the girls want to know. <laughs> so I've had that done in my butt and then my hips, but, I mean... Honestly, I feel like I did have complications afterward a little bit because I did have swelling or swelling, swelling, <laughs> swelling. Um, and it was uncomfortable to sit down. Like you are okay to sit down on your butt, but it's just like really uncomfortable. I had bruising all over my ass. My boyfriend at the time would like feel my ass and grab my ass, and there was like chunks and stuff. Oh in my it. god! Yeah, like, it was just like, was it like lumpy? It was a little lumpy at first, mm-hmm. honestly. Um, like, are you supposed to like massage it, or like how does that work? Like, um, so it goes down, like your body dissolves it, but um, yeah. So the, like the more times goes on, like the more it'll smooth out. But at first, for sure, you're like really bruised up and. Is, like, the main base always going to be there, or, like, over time, does it just all go away? Uh, it all goes away. It's just, like, lip filler. So. Okay, but yeah. I feel like even with lip filler, like, there's, like, 20% that just, all, like, always True, stays. True, You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, like, not all of it's ever going to go away, so that's kind of cute. But. but it's kind of the same as, like, silicone, where, like, you feel it, like, moving around in your body. Oh, like, my God. That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> Would fun. you ever, like, go back to, like, getting more, or have um, you thought about it? Or? Honestly, I want, like, silicone after, because I feel like it doesn't last as long, mm-hmm. and... Yeah, I'm done with like pads, like you said. Like you pad it? Yes, for sure. For <laughs> so like, I watched long. your video. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. I'm just I don't know if you had a video. I never like okay. once like put it on like the line that I was like padding. You know, I was kind of like, I'm not putting this out there. Like, fuck that. <laughs> oh, okay. But isn't it funny that everyone like Danny? Is this like the reality of like trans girls? Like, because be- Danny before she met me, like uh-huh. she thought she was like the only trans girl in Orange County. I was living my like in my what? head. I was like, I'm cis. Like in my, in my head, I wasn't cis at all. I looked awful. <laughs> but in my head, I was like, I have my like friends who weren't trans. I was living my yeah. like Orange County life, and then like I meet these like trans girls at the time, which was like Elena and like our other friends. And I just saw the way they were doing life, and I was like, this is what you guys do? Like, this is what, like, actually happens? <laughs> like, I was so uneducated. And, like, I remember um, one of our friends was like, we need to, like, get you on. Like, you need to, like, pad, you know? And I was like, I'm not, like, like, yeah, I might not like my face that much at the time, but, like, yeah. my body, I never hated my body. And she's like, no, you need to pad. So we put pads in me one day, and I looked so fucking weird. Really? I mean, it just looked, like, I, I looked like... Nicki Minaj like literally like <laughs> it was like small waist and then like with her size it was her pads so like with her size body it was just like my little body and then it was just like and then I took a picture I should find it I think it was on my old phone but it was just so funny and I was like I'm never doing this again like it's funny I don't know but like that was like the reality of like a lot of trans girls are like it is, yeah. a lot of them they do pad they make yeah. their own little pads and like well I have like a trans mom Serena Valentina who she told me, like, her complications with silicone, that was, like, my biggest reason for, like, not doing it and doing, like, the... Oh, it went on her back, right? Yeah, and she had to have surgery and have it all removed, and she told me how much that was. I was like, oh, fuck. How much was it? Like, over 10000 Oh, my God, no. I'm scared. Let me just put money aside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Danny's like, my bank. <laughs> but, yeah, there are, like, so many times where I'm just, like, sitting, and I'm kind of, like... I want to like get my silicone taken out because I'm just so scared. Really? Like, yes, 100. Yeah. Like, I like, I just don't know like what's gonna happen in the future. Like, obviously, when I got it done in the moment, it was kind of just like, oh my god, the body, the everyone's body, like, doing the it, body. Yeah. yeah, but then like the more that I like spend time alone, I'm kind of just like, what the fuck did I do to myself? Like, in 10 years, like I'm gonna have to get this. Like, and I I knew all this was like gonna happen. I knew like the risk before I did it all. But like, like I'll just be like, I want to like take it off. Like, I want to get it out of me. But like, I don't want to go back to padding. And like. Everyone always tells you, do a BBL, do a BBL. But, like, girl, what fat? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, like, what fat, you know? Yeah, no, sure. And so it's, like, not everyone can have a BBL and, like, eat. Like, I see Danny eat and eat and eat and, like, again what fat you know High so metabolism mm-hmm. yeah definitely for sure and even like you guys would be like oh like danny why aren't you getting pumped and i was just too scared like i mean no, I, feel I get like, that yeah absolutely yeah like with all of our friend group it was very just like oh i want it now i'm gonna do it now but i'm very like i think of the future a lot and i'm like mm-hmm. i'm gonna be too scared when i'm like 40 and it's like in my <laughs> body and like i don't know i was just too scared and now looking back i'm like i just feel like 
I made the right decision not doing it. You know what I mean? Because, like, I don't know. But ultimately. Well, yeah. I mean, it's kind of just like, Denny, a risk for mm-hmm. sure. It's, it's kind of like, is that a risk you're willing to take? Yeah. And, like, Danny never ever really had a problem with her body. Like, I've never ever seen her once cry or complain about her body or like be insecure for body like if i think danny's always been like god my body is so hot you know and so like for danny i feel like it's a good thing because honestly being around so many trans girls who have gotten pumped i'm honestly surprised danny didn't get like didn't cave i think with like you guys like the people we hang out with like and i think the trans community in general like they're all obsessed with having like the la girl like big booty like small yeah. waist thing and i just want to have like the kendall jenner like skinny girl like you know what i uh-huh. mean like I, I just have a different aesthetic i think and obviously like being around you guys sometimes i'm like okay like i'd be super interesting with that body type but like you guys are shorter and like it just it looks cute with you guys like you're small it's cute you know what i mean like i'm already taller and i just think i have like more of the model figure if that makes sense uh-huh. so you just like have to do what's best for your body if that makes sense you yeah know? you have like a 90s early 2000s and that's like literally Danny's aesthetic 100 yeah. percent. Yeah. so like so. let's talk about like work work have you (laughs) are you in the adult industry if i may ask because a lot of the trans girls are Uh uh-huh so what if you're comfortable talking about it of course obviously yeah um so i do only fans who doesn't at this point (laughs) (laughs) we're all filming a video after this in the bio (laughs) three twenty three some love it but what do you have go on but um yeah so i for the longest time i was a sugar baby um i feel like now i'm more of a like a retired sugar baby Mm -hmm. honestly but um yeah uh what does that like entail when you say sugar baby like where do you find these guys like how does that happen like well it honestly depends sometimes the men will find me whether that's through instagram through OnlyFans, or through like I remember when I was, like, in high school, I would meet sugar daddies off, like, Seeking Arrangement. Okay. Oh, geez. Were you ever scared? Or, like, did, like, a lot of guys, like, um, like, trick you? Or, like, what happened? <laughs> like, I don't know. I was... I always had, like, a best friend. That I would send my location to her. And then I would so go on So she knew, seats. like, everything. Yeah. So you were like, I'm not that scared. And so... Okay, that yeah. makes sense. But, um, yeah, my ex, sugar daddy, was the one who paid for my implants. So, um, yeah, I... I don't know, I don't do it as often as I used to because I feel like I did have, like, some scary moments where, like, people, they were trying to, like, put stuff in my drinks and stuff. Like, yeah, men are really shady. That's so scary. I'm sorry. But, no, um, I feel like now I'm fine, but honestly, for the longest time, it definitely did affect me, but... Yeah, um, I know that sounds super intense. Yeah. Um like these guys like were you like into them or were you like playing the part like you know what i mean <laughs> well, i'm sure there has to be like at least some cute guys right yeah like there's probably some guys you're like oh my god i'm living the life i'm getting like you know i'm getting what i want and, and he's like he's not cute. that bad looking yeah. you know? um sometimes i definitely felt like oh my god i'm like anna nicole with this sugar <laughs> <laughs> right and you're like thriving but um honestly a lot of the sugar daddies out there are married. A lot of them are old and ugly. And, and just that's like, just a reality. Yeah. Personally, I love older men, so... Oh, is that your, like, your type? Like, yeah, your thing? Yeah, that's my type. Oh, my I God. Okay, what ethnicity? Like, white older men? Like, Persian older men? Um, like... I feel like I've done the most with, like, white older men. But... Okay, that's your thing. Okay, yeah. for sure. <laughs> did you, like, did you ever feel, like, a way... Because, like... I could never get into the sugar daddy experience. Like, I've tried. I really have. Like, to me, that was kind of just, like, it just seems so easy and fun. And I was, like... It's very similar to escorting. 100%. I watched her little sugar daddy face. She'd come into my store, like, with a random guy and be like, hey, girl. And I'd be like, (laughs) who the fuck? (laughs) But, like, I did that once, and I didn't like it at all because, like... I didn't like the way that people were, like, looking at me, and they just knew exactly... Like, the thing with me is kind of just that I came from, like, a way where it's, like... I was kind of like Alina Genevieve, you know, like I made my own bag. You You already had like a name. Exactly. And so like the idea of me kind of like bitching down to a man, like that made me so like, I mean, no offense, like not not to be offensive by anything, but like this is just my mindset. Like, like the idea of that, like I just couldn't do it because I'm just so prideful and like, 
I didn't like the way that that like people were looking at me. I would love me. to be shan- like I'm like really submissive, so I'm just yeah. like oh my god, like the idea of that. I'm like yeah, I'm your like dirty little whore. I'm like yeah, of course. <laughs> like you know, yeah. I, like I love her. Like you know, like I love yeah. the vibe. So for mm-hmm. sure, like for me, it was kind of just like I saw that people were looking at me <laughs> and like, did you like did that ever affect you? Honestly, no. I feel like I get so I'm from a small town, so. Mm-hmm. Me looking this way, I'm, like, one of the very few white girls in my city, so let alone that, I stand out. Um, But I always get looks no matter where I go, so if I'm with a sugar daddy, um, obviously people are going to look, and... But you're just, like, (laughs) ready for it. You're just, like... Yeah, or, honestly, I have... I feel like most sugar daddies I've been with love that experience. They love getting the attention, yeah, having like a young, hot blonde like on his arm. Like they love that shit. So. You said you were like, um, look, one of the only white girls. Like, is yeah. it like mostly like mostly Hispanic? Okay, cool for yeah. sure. That's awesome. That's cute. Yeah, that's <laughs> cute. What about escort? Did you ever like dabble into that? So like, uh-huh. your entire life was it just always like sugar daddies or? Yeah, it was mainly sugar daddies, um, and I would only do, like, one sugar daddy at a time, but um, honestly, if I'm comparing that to escorting, I really don't see that big of a difference, except, like, maybe it's less discreet if it's with a sugar daddy, Um, but other than that, I say it's, like, the same thing, honestly. A lot of girls, they'll be like, oh, yeah, sometimes I don't even, like, have sex with these men. Is that bullshit? Because a lot of no, girls... No, it's true, because the men, or the guy that paid for my tits, I never fucked him. Really? Yeah. So that's, but, like, a thing. Was it more of, like, a, he just wanted to, like, go out and take you out and, like, show you off? Or was it, like, a genuine connection? Or was it, like... He wanted... Okay. He wanted me to be, like, his, like, Barbie doll to where, like, he would get me these surgeries and whatever I wanted done. And then he wanted to, like, he was very, our relationship was very serious. Like, he met my family and everything. Oh, that is so, that's like the literally oh, boyfriend vibe. Yeah, yeah that's very cute. Yeah, so he wanted me, but he was Canadian. So okay. he would fly and then we'd meet up. Um, but, I mean, his main goal at the end of the day was, like, to marry me. So Did you not want to be married? Um, she was like, I'm young and beautiful. I'm not going to be coming out. Down. Just, well, like, yeah. He was really... Not gonna lie, and I feel like most sugar daddies, I just have to be honest, they are abusive in some type of oh, way. Oh, was it like verbally or like physical? Physically, yeah. No. Yeah. Oh my God, what so did he do? So he would like grab me by the arm really rough, like in public. He'd be like, No, come over here. Yeah. Anger issues. For I would sure. beat him five ways. If he's oh doing God. that shit in public too, would like people imagine. Come up and, like, ask if you're okay. Yeah, I know. That's exactly what people were doing. And I felt like really scared. It was like I was in Scottsdale. Okay, so Arizona. Yeah. Um, but it got so bad to the point where I had to literally, like, he got, he was an alcoholic on top of it, which comes with the territory, but, um, he passed out. I legit had to escape my hotel room while he was sleeping. I went across the street, got a different hotel room. I had to have, um, cause I flew out there. I had to have my stepdad drive from Palm Springs to Scottsdale, which is like, what, like three hour drive there and back. Um, just to like save me and pick me up because I was like having such a like bad time with him but that is so scary yeah it was it was really scary um you have to really like guard yourself um and I think because he was really nice at first don't get me wrong and I think once he was like paying for my surgeries and stuff he was like okay well I own this bitch she's mine I can do whatever I want with her I I can see that happening and that's like the side of like that whole thing that no one talks about like exactly, you know everyone yeah. tries to glamorize like sugar daddy like you know but there's some dark sides I mean there's dark sides to everything 100% and I feel like that goes into like escorting too because like yeah. they they're seeing as like oh well I'm paying for this bitch right now so like I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I want yeah. you know have you ever like cause like for me I've had like some scary client situations Dude, and like me too mm-hmm. when I like literally with you remember that w- mm-hmm. when you first got your new place when I moved into this apartment, actually, uh-huh. Danny had this client, and, like, I don't know why, but Danny decided to get him drunk. Okay. It was, we've already talked about this. I don't I don't escort anymore because I'm just so bad at it. I don't like to look at it as work because I freak out. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to make, like, in my head, I'm like, I'm going to make you, like, 
my friend, you know? And so, yeah, we were drinking just a little bit. I didn't realize how drunk, I think he showed up drunk because, like, we didn't drink that much. Mm -hmm. But he just got so sloppy. And, like, I tried kicking him out. Our friends were here, but we were in the room. And then we kicked him out. And he started, he just didn't remember, like, what room we were. We just moved in. And he's knocking on all the neighbors' doors, being like, let me in, let me in. It's like our first night here. And I keep in mind, this was like 3 a.m. 3 a.m. So everyone's sleeping. on every neighbor's door. And we're just like, oh, my God, we're going to get kicked out. I'm going to jail. Like, oh, my God. It was so scary. And, yeah, that's, like, the side that no one talks about. And that's mm-hmm. honestly one of the reasons why I just, like, don't like doing that anymore. I just don't know how to handle men. And um, it's scary because, like, we didn't know what he was going to do. Like, he was this drunk man in the hallways, like, just making a fucking scene. We weren't sure if he was going to call the cops and be like, I no. paid these bitches, you know? So, like, it was just <laughs> so bad. And then I think I had one where, like, one time this was like two years ago a client got really physical with me and like let's just i'm not going to explain it too much into detail but like i was bleeding you know oh my God. and so like why don't i know this story because i never told the story to oh anyone goodness. yeah and so like i was bleeding and like let's just say he wouldn't stop and so i literally had to just like kick him in the throat and like that finally got him to just kind of like came to his senses a bit and then he left but like you never know who you're did he pay before you Oh, of course. I already, like, okay. got... Because, like, once I get them... I, I get the money first thing. Oh, I And then it. once I get the money, I, like... I tell them, like, oh, can you go wash your hands? And once I wash it, I hide the money somewhere. Because, like, that way they can't come back and yeah. get it. And so, like, the money's already hidden. But it was just, like, you never know who you're inviting into your home. And True. so, like, that's why I stopped doing that, all, that entirely. Because, like, you mm-hmm. never know, like, what kind of mentality these guys are having you know like yeah. some of them are sweet but another, another time they're kind of just like in- psycho and don't get me started on all the drugs they do like the drug yeah. side of it it's just scary like you don't want to like let a meth addict into your mm-hmm. house where exactly. they're like you know like let me smoke in here and they're like have the pookie and you're like what's <laughs> happening <laughs> you're just like what <laughs> but yeah and so like sometimes like, they just have this mentality of kind of just like well I own this bitch in yeah. this current moment like I paid for it. I can do whatever the fuck I want with her and it's kind of just like I'm so happy I put that escorting life behind me. I don't regret any of it because at least I got to say, like, I experienced it. And, like, it did teach me a lot. Yeah. And, like, now I know, like, how much respect I have for, like, the girls in that industry because, like, they really put themselves through so much, you know? For real. And, like, I think you have to have a backbone for sure. You know what I mean? Like, a really strong head on your shoulders where you're, like, not scared of that. Mm -hmm. And so, like, definitely, like, don't regret it. Glad that it's over with. But, like, I would not go back, like to doing it because it was just like it was more so just traumatizing that like that yeah. happened that one time and I was kind of just like ooh like this is it like this is where I draw the line you yeah. know and so with that being said it's kind of just like how is dating for you you know like well you, you like can, older men yeah I love older men okay but do you ever date like guys that are like younger no. because, do you not find younger guys attractive really? at well, all that's so interesting you can get like any guy like you're so pretty <laughs> and you're not even dabbling with like the boys our age well, I mean, I feel like if I'm going to be fucking some guy, I've got to get something out of it. Okay, so I okay. need an allowance. I need She knows her worth. Money, you know? <laughs> she's yeah. she's kind of just like, it's all about business with me, honey. <laughs> so do you find younger guys, like, attractive in the slightest at all? Well, yeah. Um, my ex, 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 like, he was mm, 28, mm-hmm. so... Yeah, but he was, even him, he was giving me money. He was working at, like, in and out and, like... Mm-hmm. You're, like, <laughs> that free in and out though. You're, like, I know you're not making much, but, like, and we have the paycheck. Yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> That's, like, so funny. I love that. But, yeah, um, I don't know. I think, like, I love guys in their, like, late 30s, early 40s. Okay, I can understand that. I mean, 30, like... <laughs> I'm almost 30, like, honestly, like, that's not <laughs> that old, but I mean, no, for sure, definitely. Do you, like, want, like, a full head of hair? Do you like the balding? Like, oh, like what's the, happening? What kind there? of old men are we talking about here? <laughs> the cute ones or, like, the, like, the ones you can secure because you know, like, no one else wants them. You know what I mean? Or the one that's, like, borderline flatlining, <laughs> like. <laughs> like, 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 he's in a wheelchair, you're, like, at the mall, just, like, pushing him. Oh, you're like, this is my grandpappy, everyone. <laughs> Well, I, like, the oldest I've done is, like, 75, so... Okay, what's he You like? don't say. Is he, like, crippling, or...? Uh, he's a lawyer out in Beverly Hills. Ooh! Yeah. He has, That's like, very, like, Erica Jane. Um, what kind of lawyer? Uh, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> like a divorce lawyer, like a He deals lawyer, with, like, trans people, oh, so, yeah. That's unique. Uh-huh. Okay. He awesome. loves the trans girls. But... Wait, that's actually really cute that he, like, openly fights for, like, the trans yeah, girls, you know? Yeah, I think it's, like, his fetish or something. Like, oh, for Being sure. able to work with trans girls on mm-hmm. top of it is, like, his thing, but 
He had like multiple homes. He has a home in Palm Springs. So. And that's probably where you met him. Yeah. Right? Okay. Mm-hmm. Got it. So is dating easy for you being trans? Because a lot of a lot there's like a whole stigma of like trans girls not being able to find love. And I know it's I know it's a thing because yeah. I put it out there all the time. Every episode, Lena goes, trans girls don't get love. And all the comments are, well, I'm married and I'm a trans person. And I'm like, you're lucky, but trans girls don't get love. Like we get <laughs> used and abused. It's the funniest thing. But yeah, so like, do you think it's hard dating as like a trans woman? As an open trans woman, 100%. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like I had the opportunity at one point in my life where I could have gone stealth if I wanted to. And I feel like that would have been, like, if I wanted, like, a full-on marriage or something, like, that could have gone. But I was like, I'm not putting myself into a closet for any men, especially, like, a boyfriend. But, yeah. I mean, honestly, dating's fine. Like, I can get... I can get any guy I really want, but I mean, dating and like leading to something more serious, that's like com- two completely different yeah. things. Like, obviously, like we'll fuck around and shit, but for the majority of the time, like it doesn't go past that. Like, they don't want me like seriously unless they're like 75 or some shit, mm-hmm. like something's wrong with them. But <laughs> and so, do you feel like because of that, it makes you more like likely to date the older men? Or do you just um, generally like it makes, like it because of their taste? Like you generally just like older men, or do you think it's because like of how younger guys treated you that you're kind of just like fuck? I'll just settle for the older guys, and to the point where you convince yourself that you like the older men. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like younger guys don't treat trans women as well as like, the only the they never do. Yeah, facts, big facts, true. Mm-hmm. So with that being said, like, um, yeah, I mean. I don't know, always being attracted to older men and, like, me being, like, if I'm going to fuck you, I want money, mm-hmm. so does that well get um, sugar daddy. Does that tie into, like, is that your mom's type? Like, did you see that with your mom and you were like, oh, I want that? Or is this, just, like, something that came out of, like, you yourself? Well, it definitely was, like, my mom. Like, she, I mean, she lived the sugar baby lifestyle, too, so I saw that. Okay, so that makes sense. Yeah. Then. That definitely makes sense, 100%, and that's awesome. Yeah, that's so cute. you kind of just saw it happen. You are like, oh, my God, my mom's thriving, bitch. I want to thrive, too. The exactly. fuck? And you guys are besties. Which is so, so cute are. to me. Like, I love that. <laughs> like, that's how I want to be with my kid. Like, I want to be besties, but, like, I swear, I don't want, like, I, see I don't want daughters. <laughs> I don't want a daughter. Wait, you don't want to, so you want to be besties with your son? Your son? I want to be a, I want Mama's to be, boy. Uh, yeah. No, no, I know what she wants. I'm going to say it right now. She she wants her son to be a uh, literally like a sports player and she wants to be the hot mom that all of her son's friends <laughs> want to fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I just, the thing with like a girl is like I can't do the whole period talk. I don't know anything about a vagina and like I don't know how to like navigate that conversation for my daughter. And so like I know how the penis works, you know? Like, I can yeah. navigate that 100%. I want a household of all sons, because how cunt would that be? Kind of like, me and my five boys and my husband. And I'm, like, the only, she like, mom. Love, see, that's how, yeah. Like, that's <laughs> how I it. And, like, she just, just wants all the attention. She just wants to be the only, like, <laughs> woman in all of her boys' life. Yeah, I want... <laughs> <laughs> like, and, I get it. Like, I do. Like, don't you want that? You're gonna hate, like, if your son brings home a girlfriend, you're gonna be like, who the fuck is this bitch? <laughs> He's sabotaging <laughs> a relationship. Right, yeah. But I just want, like, I want all of like my son's attention i want my husband i just want a household of all boys and just like all that testosterone and just me being like the only female and like all this testosterone like just me being like it's gonna be so hot when they go through puberty (laughs) like Like, just like me being the only female in the house and like them like looking out for mama and like just the hot mom you know like i want to be a fucking mouth I mean, I can see that for you. I think that is going to happen. Yeah. Like, I want to have a kid now just to, like, get this, like, started earlier. Young mom, <laughs> you know? yeah. yeah. young mom. Have my kids be, like, in their 18s. I'm, like, barely 40. I never wanted... <laughs> I, like... I never wanted to be a mom. I always wanted to be, like, the cool aunt that is, like, fucked up at the Aww. birthday parties. That's, like, you know, like... You know what I'm talking about? That whole vibe. Do you want kids, or...? Uh, I have, like... I have fur babies, so those are my oh, fur babies. I love that. That's like how I see it too. I want like a stable boyfriend. I want to live in like a loft in New York City with like two puppies, like yeah. literally, and call it a day. Are you ready for the gag? Yeah, give it to me. If Danny doesn't believe in marriage, she doesn't want to get married ever. I'm honestly Ex- with you, Danny. Wh- yeah. What? Yes. Do so you guys just want to have boyfriends forever? Mm, well, sugar okay. daddy is forever. So yeah, so, <laughs> I think we're both on the same wavelength. I think our perspectives are a little bit different i think you're probably just like i want to like you know do that, do that whole vibe which yeah. is like awesome with me i'm like 
I just don't believe like I believe in love I just don't believe you need a paper to have that or like well, you have to like can I ask you something yeah for sure did your parents like get divorced or something no they're like really? in love. they're so in love yeah it's- so I feel like for me I personally have feelings like mixed feelings about marriage but that's because I saw both my mom and my dad like go through multiple divorces so okay. I'm like well fuck. so uh, my mom did I found out when I was like 13 she told me she was like um I was married before your dad and uh-huh. I was like oh and she was like yeah he was like a drug dealer and I, and that's funny because now my dad's like a pastor <laughs> and so I'm like you went from a drug dealer to a pastor like that's funny as fuck anyways Upgrade. right it's, <laughs> it's so random but no I just don't think that you need I think the idea of marriage I mean like okay if you want like I get there's benefits with marriage companionship like, yeah like I get it I just don't think like marriages have to be so expensive you like all those rules and stuff like who said you have to do that who like, says just, you have to have like a paper exactly yeah. like you if could you do like them. a ceremony in like the Bahamas and I'm not like fully against marriage if I might meet the love of my life and he wants to get married okay maybe I will but I'm not uh-huh. gonna be like the bitch that's like oh my god we've been together for nine years where's my ring <laughs> you know what I mean unless my mindset like changes in the next couple of years so you don't want a wedding I don't want a wedding no you don't care for any I'd of rather that? all that money I'd rather just go take it and go on vacation <laughs> with him and like vibe out I, maybe I could do like a low key like get married in Vegas kind of thing and then go mm-hmm. you know what I mean yeah but like as far as like gifts and stuff like why are you like I don't know the whole idea of wedding it's like you don't need to pr- confess your love in front of everyone you know what I mean like I mean it's, it's cute old Danny's old like an Instagram photo would do just fine <laughs> of us <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like I'll just post you on my story and we'll just say hi I'm married <laughs> That's good enough. No, but I mean, honestly, I think that, like, we can all change as people. And if yeah. I meet a guy that, like, wants to do that, like, for sure. But I just, it was, I, I never pictured myself in a white wedding dress. Like, I just never pictured that for myself. <laughs> Maybe if it was black, who knows? But, like. Or red. Yeah. I feel like Danny says this now, but when you meet a guy, because there are so many guys out there who eventually will want to get married. And I feel like you're going to meet a guy who's going to want to. And at that point, you're going to do it just to do it anyways. Yeah, probably. Like, I feel like when you're so in love, Danny's going to end up caving and you're just getting married because this is what this man wants. But I doubt Danny's going to be like, either we don't get married or you break up with me. You know, I doubt it's going to be you. I also have just seen so many weddings in my family and I just see the stress that goes behind it. And it's like, I don't want to deal with any of that. Like, I really don't. And like, you know what I mean? But I mean, that's like the fun part about it is like the stressful wedding plan. Do you want to hear another thing? Pride self. Yeah, tell me. I'm very against symbols and ceremonies. So I don't even like believe in funerals wait what really like i believe in like okay the family gets together at like a house i'm very untraditional uh-huh. and like you guys can like hang out and like cry together yeah but like you go up and like make a speech about how great of a person they were like i don't know i just don't get it i'm like they're dead like they're gone now you know what i mean i get it. it's it's it's, it's very the like, same thing as kind of just like going on instagram being like happy mother's day and she's not even on social media that very you know like, um like, yeah you know. and it's just i also don't get why it, like dying is so expensive like coffins and like tombstones are expensive you gotta like pay for that to, like land forever it's, i think yeah and it's like you're <laughs> oh dead God. and like i just don't get it like i don't get half of the things baby showers i don't get <laughs> <laughs> i just don't get it yeah anything like a one-year-old birthday party like they're one they don't know what's going on <laughs> i'm just like they're not even alive yet and you're buying them gifts <laughs> like i just i don't get it yeah like i really don't now partying because it's your birthday i get yeah it's your birthday you're alive you're with all your friends i get that but, like, babies don't know what are happening. They're not even alive yet. <laughs> You're dead. I don't know why that's happening. Why do you have to confess your love to people in front of people? Like, I don't get yeah. it. Yeah. No, that's just my view right now. I'm 25. Maybe it'll change. Yeah. I'm going to end that right there with that. By the way, Brittany is 22, 22. So we didn't get that out of the way. But she's 22, you guys. But <laughs> You're funny, Danny. It's just, like, my thoughts. I know I'm weird, but... So what's on your OnlyFans? Uh, I have solo videos. I have videos with me and other men. Mm-hmm. But yeah, is it like solo videos? Then like kind of solo or kind of just like solo, solo, just solo, solo. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so she's not fronting, you guys. Like, no, I show it all. Mm-hmm. I even show the kitchen sink, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love it. So, with that, do you ever find it hard to like date because you have that out there? Uh. Well, I feel like, honestly, I feel like some guys will be into me just because I do OnlyFans. Mm-hmm. But obviously, there's a lot of guys out there that don't want to, like, bring a sex worker home, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> 
I guess it does get in the way of me dating. Honestly, like, I'm not big on the dating scene. Like, I'm more about, like, sugaring if I'm going to be there. You're paying me for my time and stuff. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, I mean, I... I was doing OnlyFans, and I had, like, a boyfriend. I was in a serious relationship. He he didn't mind it. Um, I was constantly, like, trying to get him to be a part of it, and he'd mm-hmm. be like, oh, yeah, I'm so down, I'm so down. And then when it came down to it, he was, like, so not down. Yeah. Yeah, but, um, yeah, I mean, I think it's fine. I think our generation is a lot more open to it mm-hmm. and, like, has a bigger open mind of, like, sex, sex work, so... Yeah, I mean, it's never been that big of a problem. I think, if anything, like, my family has, like, definitely had thoughts about it. (laughs) But, I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't let it affect my life too much. Like, it's my work, you Mm -hmm. know? Yeah. yeah. Danny, does it ever affect you? Because you do OnlyFans, and you date a lot, too. Or what about, like, your family? My family doesn't know I do OnlyFans. Oh, fuck. (laughs) I literally, I have two separate... I'm like, the people listening, don't out me to anyone. <laughs> no, but I have two separate Instagrams, and I blocked everyone on my actual Instagram where I have my OnlyFans link. And then I made a new Instagram being like, yeah, I just, like, decided to start fresh. Like, you know, like, and that's where I added all like, my family. Her bio was like, daughter of a pastor. <laughs> no. religious. No, but, uh, Church every Sunday. <laughs> and then my mom will be like, how do you have money? Like, you really haven't worked a normal job in, like, forever. Like, what's happening? And I'm like, well, Elena and I do YouTube. She just, like, my mom doesn't remember. <laughs> like, she's not up to date. Like, you really, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's just not. And she'll be like, oh, so how's the YouTube going? And I'm like, good. Good, mom. <laughs> and then she's like, can I see your videos? And if, if she types this in, this comes up. And it's like, <laughs> no, you can't see her videos. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, as far as dating, um, there's this one guy I'm talking to right now. He doesn't care. The last guy kind of cared. Okay, the last guy, he hated it. The whole time we were together, he wasn't okay with it. But he was also just like, don't show it to me. Like, he was okay with it, but he was like, I just don't want to see other guys. He didn't even want to see the video. But I saw, like, when I noticed when he lost feelings because towards the end of our relationship, he was very just like, at like late at night, he'd be like, babe, send me a video from your OnlyFans. And I'm like, the whole time you actually cared about me, you never wanted to see it because it was with another guy. And now you're treating me like a booty call at two in the morning. Like, I know you don't think of me the same way as you used to. Now yeah. you're probably just sexually attracted to me, but the emotions are gone. You know what I mean? And so I think I think dating with OnlyFans is definitely doable. I think uh-huh. you just have to find, like, the right guy. I don't know. It's definitely harder, but... Would you make them pay a subscription? Oh, you- yeah. I mean, um, if a guy that I'm seeing wants to see the videos, I'm like, you can subscribe. Yeah. I'm like, you can either get <laughs> get it in person with me or, like, you can subscribe, but I'm not going to send you free videos. That takes too much time yeah, out of my hands. I'm like, I feel like if a guy subscribe, like, if, if, if I'm talking to a guy and he subscribes, kind of just, like, that's weird. Like, to really? me, I'm, I find it super weird. I'm kind of just like, like, why are you subscribing? Like, we're just talking. We're not even, like, boyfriend and girlfriend yet. And, like, yeah. The fact that, like, you're already seeing me, like, do all this kind of stuff before we even do this kind of stuff ourselves, like, that's just weird to me. And, like, I feel like once a guy, because I've, I've, there are times where like, I'll talk to a guy, they know I do only if they're like, oh my god, that's so hot, I'm gonna subscribe right now. And I'm like, thanks for the support, but, like, I'm not gonna kick you seriously after that because, like, you've already just seen me, like, yeah. You know, like, I'm, that's weird now. Like, I'm not gonna, like, like, you've already seen me fuck before we even fuck. Like, that's so, like... Well, that's, like, a preview to what he's gonna get, I guess. <laughs> it's, to me, it's kind of just, like, if you can't be patient enough to wait for, like, True. the real thing, it's kind of, like... Then like, you're just kind of, like, thinking what your dick at this point. And, Which like, 90% of men do, mm-hmm. so... So it works out in your favor 100% to your favor. But, yeah, I feel like it works out in our favor because, like, we target, like, the horny men at night, you know? So it's, like, it's perfect. Now... Do you feel like you being trans and like dating older guys? Do you feel ever like fetishized? One hundred percent. Because like so, <laughs> I'm kind of just like, she oh my, that at the beginning. Yeah, like, like yeah, it's definitely like a fetish. No, mm-hmm. It's yeah. kind of like chasers too. Yeah, you know, like. Do you like that though? Like, do you just like that they're all about you? Just like, or are you worried that they're also hitting uh, up other girls? Or like, honestly, I don't care. I mean, I feel like. Uh, well, I love you- that. She's kind of like, I don't care. Or, like, I just That's don't. the mindset to make it, baby. I'm like, you've been with other girls? <laughs> other trans girls? Like, yeah. We're so just, like, jealous. Yeah. And that's awesome that you're And so it's kind of like, if Danny and I kind of just like, like, before you date me, who have you been with? <laughs> you've been with her? <laughs> I know her. It's like, oh, I've like, oh, been with Elena. I'm like, that's my best friend. She's like, oh, I've been with Danny. She's like, that's my best friend. <laughs> we're like, gotta cut that one out. So it's like, I love that you just don't care because, like, yeah. we wish we had that mentality, but we don't, you know? Well, I mean, I feel like it's more of a business for me. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's how I see it. I don't see it as, like, a relationship or dating. Like, 
I am very guarded. I don't let my feelings get attached if I'm dating or something, if I'm going out with a guy. How, though? That's like, crazy. Do you ever not just like, get attached? Was there ever one guy you were like, fuck, Yeah, one about guy him? that ripped just out my heart. Always and, one and guy. And that's where all <laughs> roots yeah. from, right there. <laughs> oh, my God. 100%, yeah. Tell us about that. <laughs> and I was like, do you want to talk about it? Because <laughs> I want to hear about what you did I'm like, you. therapy if session, let's okay. go. Yeah. Therapy time, you know. So I was with this guy, and we were dating for a really long time. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's kind of sad for me to talk about. Oh, then we oh, don't talk, we don't about, then we don't talk about, about it. We don't talk about Wait, it. Wait, beside, not how long were you dating? Just really quickly. Like two years. Oh, wow. That, that was like, like a boyfriend. Yeah. That's like borderline husband almost. Okay, let's just know? change the subject then. What's your zodiac sign? Uh, Sagittarius. Okay. Yeah. I honestly don't know that much, but that's amazing. What are you? Capricorn. I'm a Lib- well, she's oh. a Capricorn. I'm a Libra. I only know about like a couple of the signs, but I think, um, who's the Sagittarius that I know? Nope, no one's coming to mind. But that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> face is beautiful. Thank what have you got yeah. on your face? So for my face, I've done liquid FFS. So I've had Botox, Brow Lift. I've had liquid rhinoplasty. I honestly want to get it redone. Mm-hmm. Um, it's wearing off. Um, I've had my tear troughs filled. Wait, had, what? Yeah, what's that? What is that? Tear troughs filled? Yeah. So at least for me, like I had really bad under eye circles, but me, they were like sunken in. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, my like right here. You mean? Oh, yeah. are you talking about the um, filler right here? Yes. Oh, okay, that's teardrop. Okay, got it. Yeah. I so I have like bags, and they just fill it up so that I don't have them. Oh my god, I, it looks kind of cut. Like I Thank like you. it. No, it looks uh-huh. great. Were you scared? Because that's really scary. They're like poking you right here on your eyes. No, I like think if anything happens, it. like. I keep my eyes wide open. Like, a needles don't bother me, honestly. Um, if you don't mind, like, just your teardrops, how much was that? Because I didn't want to, like, uh, That was, like, 500 Oh! Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's that a good So, like, color. a syringe. Yeah. yeah. Okay, got it. Is it, like, a syringe per eye or, like, one syringe, two eyes? Uh, you can do, like, a sur- half a syringe on both or... Does that do anything? Have you done that Yeah, before? I've okay. done that and I like that, but I personally like a full syringe. Just the full, like, yeah. clean, mm-hmm. all one layer. Yeah, okay. And then what about cheeks? Because I, I love the cheeks and I kind of want yeah. some now, you know? Yes. No, same. I need some. But, like, I just I have, like, a wide face. I, w- I don't want to extend it anymore. But you have, like, a really I narrow I feel face. like it would look really it. pretty on you. Let me see. Train. Like, I have, like... Like, you would look you good could, with it. Because you have, I like... I need it because I don't have it. But you already... The way you do your makeup up your blush kind of gives you cheekbones yeah, if that true. makes sense i'm just scared because i have I like a really to, wide already... face you know like you have a yeah. small narrow face so this just accentuate it even more and looks prettier no, yours you know looks great. you're saying like same too you have like a really narrow like little jaw but my jaw is kind of like squarish okay. i don't want to look like with you though you already like no offense look completely done up like it looks like you <laughs> like, already looks like you got, like do you want more like yeah. surgery on your face like you look good right now you look like a cute little asian girl you know it's just like <laughs> i feel like with trans girls, you just feel like enough is never enough yeah, it's never enough it's yeah. a part of our gender dysphoria <laughs> <laughs> but like it's kind of like because we we believe that every time we go into like the clinic we come out looking prettier you know yeah you get addicted to it 100 percent. 100 percent. but i do i do like your cheeks now i kind of do want that too because i don't have anything you have like the illusion that you have mm-hmm. something even when i put blush there it doesn't really do anything you know what i mean we can get you cheeks we can get you cheeks too we'll bitch we'll get you everything we'll look at her <laughs> this is gonna be what you're gonna become in like a year we're gonna get your first boob job a thousand cc's we're gonna do it all for you baby oh yeah this is gonna be your reflection just because <laughs> black hair i'm like i'm at britney and my like life changed <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's the vibe but what else have you gotten done besides like your face boobs and like srs would you ever? No way. No way? No, I love my dick. I can't do that. <laughs> I love it. What about? You love it, too. I do. I do. You know, like. What, um, I mean, it's cool. <laughs> like, I mean, it's just like chilling <laughs> there, I guess. But I mean, ultimately, like, if I could press the button and it was there. Yeah, 100%. I'm scared, though. Like, I'm actually scared of pain. Probably why I don't have any surgeries yet. Like, I'm actually so scared to go into the knife. But. In a perfect world, yes, I want my vagina. Like, I just really do. Which is so funny because Danny has the highest pain tolerance I've ever seen in, like, a human body. Like... I know it. I I know I can do it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I know I'm gonna get... Because I want to get my face done. I want to look perfect in my face. And Mm -hmm. then I want to get my boobs. And then I'm like, okay, I need to get my neck done. And then my (laughs) vagina, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But, like, I don't know. The vagina just scares me. Like, you just hear horror stories Mm -hmm. and, like... And that's same with me, too. Like, it's obviously been, like, a thought that I've wanted before. Because I'm just like, oh, my God. Like, well, the whole reasoning of why I want it is so bad. Like, people want it. It's like, it's going to complete my surgery. I mainly want it to be able to just 
fuck guys and not have to like oh, worry about telling them anything <laughs> to just be out bring a guy home fuck them and just be fine with that and not have to be like oh my god we like i'm trans you know <laughs> so like i was like oh my god once i get the pussy i'm just gonna go around and live my whole life but it's so funny because you already do that now <laughs> it's just, you make it work baby it's kind of just i just make it work eventually <laughs> like I'll, I'll turn the dude out but i i have thought about it because like so I know Julie Vu. You know Julie Vu, Princess Jewels? Yes, of course. She got her pussy done, and I was just kind of like, what was the main reason why you wanted it done? Mm-hmm. And you would think she would be like, oh, because I just wanted to feel complete. Her reason was, I got tired of tucking. <laughs> I mean, that's definitely well, I a valid reason. I don't like tucking. Oh, Honestly, yeah. that shit hurts. Mm-hmm. I'm not doing that to myself. I like walk around like a big fat bulge but <laughs> yeah her main reason was like i don't like tucking and she was like i don't want to have to do what you girls do all the time just talk all the time and i was like cute so you didn't get it for yourself you just got it for just kind of like you didn't want to talk convenient i mean convenient. <laughs> she literally all, got it for convenience for herself though i mean no because you know how some girls get it because like i have to i, I hate it i want to get rid of it you know yeah. like she didn't feel the way at all she she didn't care she just didn't like tucking anymore interesting interesting yeah no i definitely like Beach days, 100% would make it 100% more easier. Yeah. Like, you know, mm-hmm. like, just be able to just like, like slip a cute little penny on. Like, we make it work, but it's just annoying. Like, why do we have to worry about things like that? Like, I want to yeah. just like do the splits on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? It's just a really invasive big surgery that I don't know if like I'm ready for. Yeah. But like, right now, my mentality is with you, girl. Like, I love my dick, you know? Like, mm-hmm. I'm over here and you guys are like over there. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and it's kind of just like, dick I lover. feel like a part of me, like, it makes me unique. That's kind of like, we yeah. look this way and we have that you know because i feel like yeah. once we get like our pussy it's kind of just like oh you're, you're a girl like of course like you look what you do because you're just girls you guys are just pretty like, girls what makes me better than any other basic bitch it's mm-hmm. like right now you have that kind of like in the weirdest way if they're into you for that like you have the upper hand because it's, it's like where are exactly, you gonna find where are you gonna find yeah. me and another you know mm-hmm. and girl. it's like we're kind of like so rare i get your but would you get like an orchy though what is that where they cut off your balls oh, oh so you yeah. have to take so like I hormones re- i um i know a girl that did that anyways and so i guess it changes everything yeah yeah i guess it it changes the way you orgasm it changes your oh my god yeah she was like i'm having girl orgasms they last forever like it's amazing that like it just feels great and then she was like on top of it um tucking's easier and um there was something else that she said I feel like tucking would be like you. Oh, I mean, it takes out your testosterone, yeah. obviously. So you don't have to worry about really about Spyro what at about, all. What about, like, sperm and cum shots? I mean, I already don't cum anymore. Like, when I orgasm, nothing comes out. Because, like, when I jack off, like, a lot of cum comes out. Like, that's, like, the fun I part. I don't know why. I know. I'm like on my I'm like on my pills like religiously too. So I don't know why like I shoot so much. Like I don't even oh like just drip. I literally like it shoot. That's because we explosion. have this joke that Alina's just a little gay boy that looks really pretty. <laughs> <laughs> like she's always just like I'm just a gay boy. I, just, I look like this now, and that's why it's, it's just so funny. You just can't take the man out of her completely. <laughs> like I should put all these pills in my body. My body's so like nope. You're still a little boy, but yeah. So I I, I shoot so much. It's kind of just like that's like the fun part about like the whole like orgasm. She like, loves watching it. Just mm-hmm. it looks like Sea World, you know, when Shamu like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. The wet zone or whatever. I called. wish I could do that. I have to use like okay for my OnlyFans. I use like a spunk. Yeah, it's like What's a that? it's like a lube that Fake looks like cum. cum. Yeah, it's what they use in like the porn Does videos. It taste good. I mean, I don't mm. know anyone who tastes it. Well, I, yeah, I taste it. It's okay. Oh, she's like, like yeah. yeah. Does uh, it taste like it? It's kind of like lotion. But the guys go crazy for it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, of course. I should get that one. Because you can literally just load it up and just make it... Like, have you seen those porn videos where no. it's, like, come for K? No. Where, but like, the guys just so keep weird. coming in okay. the girls? I've been on hormones for, what, like, a while, like, a while, like, years. And just this past, like, during quarantine, I'm like, where did it go? Like, I don't come anymore. And I'm like, what the fuck? Am I dying? Like, what's wrong with me? <laughs> Do you get the feeling? Like, the sensation? Because yeah, yeah, I know some girls, they, like, they feel, like the come like shooting out feeling but just nothing comes like that's they, they literally what happened yeah. yeah so nothing comes out i like look down i'm like what <laughs> i remember well, that I remember for that used me to be that's me. kind of the same where like i'll feel that and then but just like or like a drop like will come clear out clear liquid <laughs> yeah like a little drop yeah. i'm like oh there it is but like it's like the feeling <laughs> like, like i came <laughs> it, it feels like it feels like a whole load's gonna come it's just yeah. kind of like oh, oh that right. you know? no it does feel like that I, I, I mean, yeah. it's, at least the sensation's still there. Cause, like, that's, like, the main I just that we don't want. get how you're you, and you still shoot loads on loads on loads. It's actually disgusting. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like someone's not taking their spiro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm on, like, two. So mine is, I think, like, two spiros a day and three mm-hmm. estrogen. So I'm kind of just like, why? No, you're on four estrogen. 
Four or five? Three. Three. I take two in the morning and one at night. So you're on six? Well, I think... Because isn't your estrogen two milligrams? So you take three pills at six. I think so. What are you? <laughs> I take two pills a day. And are they like one milligram, two milligrams? It's the same. It's like five milligram or something. That's like an odd number and I'm confused. I didn't know they make five. It's just like, usually one pill is kind of just like two. two. Or one. Yeah, or the blue one. ones. I mean, okay, so there's yeah. like the, you have like the turquoise and then I have the light blue because mine's a one milligram tablet. Okay. So you could take five of those a day, I guess, technically. But you, yours is set for two, so it's a different color than mine, if you noticed. Mm -hmm. And so yours, like, if I'm using your hormones for the night, like, I, I'm on four right now, so I'll take like one in the morning, one at night. But then my hormones at home i'm having this big confusion with my doctor where like i'm technically on two so she my um pills are like set to one milligram so if i'm at home i take like four pills does that make sense to make it four milligrams yeah Damn, but here a lot i'd be like well it's just it's four pill. yeah yeah so i'm in the process of doing that right mm -hmm. now but yeah i mean maybe it's weird i don't fucking know do you guys take progesterone? I heard about that. What is that? I heard it makes you gain weight. Is this true? Yeah, it's true. See, I'm already gaining kind of some weight, and I just don't need that for myself. Wait, so what is it? <laughs> so it's basically like a hormone that a uh, biological woman, like, releases when they're pregnant. So, like, their titties get big and everything. I feel like I would, I want that so I can get, like, bigger, like, I feel like you would naturally. thrive on that. I would, but I'd yeah. probably also get a bigger stomach, and I'm already trying to make that one go away, so. It does make you retain, like, I have water a belly. weight. Like, I'm, I'm, th I'm thick skinny these days. Like, I'm, th like, I look You skinny, look healthy, though. But look, it's like a good look, because wiggles. before Danny used to look hair. anorexic, to like, <laughs> Danny used to look really, really, like, bad. Like, her thigh gap, I could fit my okay. whole entire two fists like this, but you know? Now but now I like, understand when she's like, okay, we're going out tonight, I don't want to eat before we go out, because I'll be bloated. Like, I get that now, because if I'm in a cute little dress, and my stomach goes out further than my ass. Mm -hmm. I look pregnant, and that's that's me like all the fucking time. That's someone just like I can't eat, I can't eat. But like, like I finally understand that though, which is good. I mean, that means like my hormones are working, yeah. but also like I'm just like I don't know if progesterone would like make it even more. I feel like, I feel like it would. Yeah, I, I don't want to get chubby. But I mean, like, is it like supposed to like be better? <laughs> uh, it's supposed to like you take it like in addition to the spiro and the estrogen, so it's just supposed to help with like. <sighs> like fat distribution so the beginning of my transition my doctor was like we can get you on that i think you're trying to set me up but he mm -hmm. was like you might have complications though because your body type and he was basically just trying to scare me like he was like you smoke cigarettes like you can get a stroke really easily like it's oh my very God. dangerous me doing all the bad things to my body and never anything happening <laughs> knock on wood but like i never got progesterone because he basically was like yeah it's very harmful for some people so i was just scared but obviously like the doctor's just going to say what they want to say. Yeah, you know my I mean? doctor was kind of just like, when you go into hormones, you can't drink, you know? And Danny's what? over here drinking up the I'm storm. smoking, you drinking all the drink. drugs. I'm yeah. like rolling. My doctor was like, you can't drink, oh, yeah, you can't not, I mean, smoke. They also say that on birth control. They're like, you can't smoke, you can't drink. Every girl you know on birth, is on birth control, and they're out at the, bar, <laughs> out the bars <laughs> fucking everyone. Like, you know what I mean? True, yeah. Exactly. It's just like a precaution thing, which I get it. There's like, I mean, you smoke cigarettes, you can get cancer. Like, it's just everything. Like, you yeah. know, there's a warning sign to everything. And so, yeah, I don't know. I didn't know that about the drinking though, dang. Yeah, my doctor's kind of just like, no smoking, yeah, no mean, drinking, but like, everyone like, fucking does it. It's your liver, so it's like, you know, oh, it's just yeah. like, everything goes into it, and so like, they say like, with hormones, like, you are more prone to stroke, heart attack, like, Fuck. blood clots, all of that. And it's scary to hear, like, heart attack, like, that's scary. Right, like, imagine just like, being out and then, boop! But like, they have to say that, <laughs> but like, what other trans girl is like, oh, she died from a heart attack, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, mm. you're more... You're probably gonna die in a car accident before that happens. You know, it's kinda like this is how this is what I saw about like the girls getting pumped. Uh -huh. Like, because there was like a group chat talking about like, oh my god, like we're gonna die from pump. And the girl goes, you're gonna die from like anything, like muscles out the body. And I was like, true. I was like, like if you die that. happy, like I feel it's worth it. I was like, she's not right. <laughs> she's not wrong. Yeah. But you guys, that is all for this episode. Thank you guys so much for tuning Thank in, you. Brittany. Is there anything you want to plug? Uh, OnlyFans.com slash Brittany, And then Danny. Can you do what I do all the time? I'll just link her down below in the corner. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for your time. Thank you so much, Brittany, for coming Have along. Just thank coming down, of me. course. It was, very fun. it was a very, like, interesting conversation. We talked about everything. I loved it. I feel it. like it just, like, was a vibe. Like, mm -hmm. we just flowed. It really, it was because, a, like, like, you and I were talking earlier, and we were like, we don't have any questions to ask her. We'll just talk <laughs> to her and see what happens. And I thought, like, yeah. we're just going to go with the vibe. Because before, I used to do, like, this, this like, interview mindset. But like now it's kind of just like I just want to like it's real, chill it's I chill like it. we're having a slumber party together so thank you guys so much I'll leave all our information down below and until my next episode bye you guys bye guys <laughs>